the Grinetic Hills woodland of this area is uh, really important for, for reptiles, but it's been about 20 years since the early 1990s when we've actually uh, had some detailed collection of, of data. So cool. And it's used to produce calcium, so it helps in the producing eggs. Basically there's 18 reptile species that are predicted to be occurring in the park. Um, this survey's found uh, 10 of those species with signs of a couple more. The survey has picked up a new species for the park as well. So we just found a new a new species for the park. It hasn't been recorded in the park before. Uh, it's a ragged snake-eyed skink, generally just known as a wall skink. They've got these fixed eyes, it's like a snake. So they don't have eyelids like yeah. uh, some of the other skinks that we get. And they spend a lot of time on the trees. They're arboreal, but also found on the rocky outcrops. Another objective of this would be to um, try and get a lot of the Parks Victoria people who are the land managers for this area to um, be a part of this project and learn a little bit about some of the reptile fauna of the parks. This project directly aligns with Victoria's Biodiversity 2037 strategy and specifically in that there's a real emphasis on continuing to collect uh, data on our plants and animals. Um, so we can actually track how they're doing, how the populations are going over time, um, particularly with the impacts of things like um, climate change and population growth.